So I thought I'd come back. I've been working on the piece for a while. So I feel like most of that side of the painting is finished. So now I'm sort of working around. Some things to point out, like I said, I had changed this arm. And now with these t-shirts and everything, I'm getting this real swirly motion around to his face and this hand kind of brings you back up into that face. So as you make your painting, you want to think about how you're moving the eye through. So a lot of this is going to come back to the focus of the megahorn, which in many ways is kind of the focus of this activity. Right now I'm sort of working back up this policeman's face and then we'll go into these two counter protesters and I'll work our way back up to the top of the painting. So still working and blending. It's gotten cold here in Richmond since I started this piece and that does affect how the paint sticks behave. Um, when it's really warm, they um, are a lot slurpier, a lot more fluid. And so that has a tendency to affect how they'll behave and the kind of layers you build up as you work. Conversely, as it gets colder, you will um, get some different effects because the paint stick doesn't want to move as easily and that will give you um, sometimes a rougher texture, a little less fluid blending. And so it's just something you have to be aware of, use to your advantage. A lot of painting, for me at least, is working against the, um, it's working against everything, but the media can be your friend and your enemy and it can do that simultaneously. And so I often feel like so much of painting is about dealing with what's happening, dealing with where you are, not where you want to be. Um, I guess I could translate to life as well. Um, and of course then, being an artist is also in many ways flying against the face of normality, flying against the face of the odds. Um, it's very, very difficult for any of us to truly make a living at this. Everyone I know has a day, night, whatever job, some other revenue stream, or as a working spouse who is supportive both financially and emotionally to having their partner, the artist, spend their time making artwork. While my wife is very supportive, she's not particularly financially supportive. That's okay. I don't mind. So like I say, working now on this particular police officer, fears are always a challenge, particularly when you have a big, thick marker. But clearly, I'm not going for photorealism. I'm not going for this is exactly this. You know, sometimes people don't even have lips, although in that case it was essential, but certainly no fingernails. Again, unless it's essential to the story I'm telling, to the figure, to the motion, to the mood. So you will frequently see my paintings where they're very strong fingernails on women. But then let's face it, there's a reason why they paint fingernails and that's to draw attention to their hands. Just as, I mean, what is lipstick but painting your lips, you know? Same thing, same basic reasoning. So of course now in this era of COVID, 
fitting on. Unfortunately, what side of the political divide you're on, we may or may not even see your faces anymore. As I paint the mask on the police officer. Now that I've had to go back to work, finish my furlough period, which I'm terribly afraid will restart again soon. Um, I've been wearing one of these for eight hours at a time, kind of gotten used to it. I've been used to not seeing what people's faces look like now I enter the restaurant work a bartender so I see a lot of people and it's interesting the different ways people deal when I approach the table most don't do anything some leave their mask on until they order some, which I think is most courteous, put their mask on every time I walk up to the table. A bit cumbersome, but very courteous. So, I get these darks, these near blacks. I'm using the alizarin crimson and the phthalo blue. But I'm not looking for natural color. I'm not interested in flesh tones being built from yellow ochres and umbers and raw sienas and I'm much more interested in color, clearly. And letting that color commu communicate some of the emotion of the piece and having the color interact with each other to uh, drive the piece forward. Sorry, I got distracted there. So I'm trying to think about these figures behind. That's a head, ear, Shoulder, arm, shoulder, arm. So this should be one of the counter guy or one of the protesters. This is another one with his arm coming down this way. That's the megaphone. So. Wipe off some of this other more purpley tone I just generated. I'm thinking. It's going to imply. So I'm thinking of sort of the green of army fatigues. Well, they're not army fatigues, they're dress up army fatigues. So just getting a little bit of this green t-shirt and then another green shirt would be right here, at least the sleeve of it.
So just getting in a bit of that. And of course, this will probably not read as much at all when the final piece is done, but that's okay. It's these almost little puzzle pieces of color. And then I'm sort of establishing this orangey tone, which was the marble of the entrance area to the Capitol building. That was behind everybody, so I'm sort of using that as my jumping off point. This is the arm of one of them. So sorry, it's catching a bit of the news there about DACA. So anyway, just moving forward. All of these pieces. In an effort to slow the latest uptick in coronavirus infections, New York City Mayor David Cuomo announced today is shuttering city schools. The hospital is difficult to replace. Local Black Recruit School says it expects students back to classes this fall. Even New York City officials said school building controls Thursday. Local Bay Public Schools will now be not entirely online. The U.S. Secretary of State. All right. That's that little piece of almost checkerboard colors. So we'll move on to this. Um, Sorry, the news is really distracting me. So the blending all happens, another thing that's an influence on the blending is what order. Like you can get very different colors depending on the order you put colors down. So um, that's part of what I'm doing here. So I'm working on um, this gentleman of color who is confronting our white, white, um, bullhorn operator. <laughs> Emphasis on bull. And so frequently person of color of brown is used. For me a lot of times this says usually a mixture of vermilion and orange. And of course, with the mask on, this makes this harder to read as a face. It's one of the jokes I've been having at work is that, you know, I'm serving to drinks and people come back up. Normally, I'm trying to remember a face. Now, I'm only trying to remember eyes. Sorry, I was thirsty. Mm. So you can see the way I'll hold the um, paint sticks in my hand as I work. Um, giving myself sort of a ever-changing palette. So like here, I'm just laying in the colors I want to mix when I go back with the white. 
the white's getting a little polluted, so I'll wipe it off. things that I've noticed is that so much is laid into skin tone in terms of your access to equality and yet so frequently skin tones are not very different really As always, and of course, it can be considered very offensive that some white friend will return to their lighter skinned black friend and return from the beach and go, Oh, look, I'm the same color as you are now. Usually, not exactly that, but it's Oh, aren't you funny? I will use my finger occasionally, but just like with the paint sticks, I kind of need to make sure that you don't have a lot of the wrong color on there. You end up doing mud even when you do that. So just to help myself, now I'm going to do this plunger boy. And the plunger boy is white, or at least the one that I encountered while I was down there. The actual person. It actually looks a little too white for my taste. So that's the thing, while it's still wet, I can come back in here and lay a little more color into it. Darken them up just a little bit. That's better. So I'm going to cut the video off here and keep working so when we come back again we kind of see how this got to where we are because I hear myself not talking too much. So thanks for taking time to look. Again, I'm working with the Rich Thin Art paint sticks, Shiva paint sticks. I'll put their website up in the uh, description. You can see my art at gregleach.com. I'll also put that up in the description. And um, be sure to subscribe. If you like what you see, share it please. Any referring back on social media is greatly appreciated. And most importantly, keep painting, keep making art, stay engaged in our political process. And probably most importantly right now, wear a damn mask. <laughs>